Hi everyone. I say everyone, this is my first video, so hello no one at the moment. Um, I decided to get on this whole YouTube thing, bandwagon, I'm calling it that. Um, I don't mean, I didn't really know where to start or what to do. <laughs> that doesn't take, <laughs> that's a good start. Um, so I thought that I'd do like a daily diary type thing and have a chat and uh, if anything I can look back on my own videos and go oh do you remember when you did that and stuff and uh, <clears throat> so I have six children Josh is my eldest and he's a father of his own which yes makes me a granny I know you're all saying it. It's just too young and beautiful to be a granny. Well, thank you very much. Unless people are saying, well, obvious, she's well old. I'm 36. I'll be 37 in October. Yeah, so Josh doesn't um, live here because he's adult doing his own adult thing. So I have five children here. So I will uh, try and do a video every day, but... Getting 10 minutes is not always going to be a thing. So I'm multitasking, still wearing my uh, pyjamas with curry sauce stain on my uh, mother top. And I'm cleaning the makeup off my face from yesterday. And I've got this stuff. I get that um, all box. I don't know if you've heard of it, it's it's my monthly treat, it's all I really spend, I don't really spend money on myself other than that, that's my treat and I got in it this stuff, it's a hyaluronic acid molecular water cleanse, it's got hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. I don't know, I put it on this microfiber cloth that I got from Poundland. It seems to take the makeup off my skin without having too much plastic wastage using wipes. And also, I don't have to be near a sink, so that's good. What day is it today? Thursday. <clears throat> Today's Thursday. It's... God, I'm on a slow go today. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Um, Lee is having a day off today so it means that he can watch Alfred whilst I do this video um yeah what else are we doing today oh obviously because of the whole pandemic thing covid the boys Riley Brody and Ethan are being homeschooled by me but only for another like what two weeks two weeks yesterday yeah just under two weeks left of homeschooling I have said that I do expect a uh, end of term teacher present you know just something small handbag shoes they, when they should get me one each and I don't drink so I don't want wine I don't want bubble bath unless it's super fancy. Oh, I really want a um, Jo Malone candle because I've only got a, a rip off fake one that was like a fiver and no, I thought that was all right, but everyone's like, that's shocking compared to the real thing. I'm putting this stuff, oh, so I'm getting, me and Leah are supposed to be getting married in 30 35 days i don't know the um <clears throat> what the 14th of i just spat that's disgusting sorry 14th of next month we're supposed to be getting married we had a hand fasting pagan wedding like four years ago and now we're supposed to be doing the legal bit although plans 
have had to change because of COVID. So we don't really know what's going on, but I'm surprisingly chill about it. We both are really. Just if hopefully we'll be able to get married on that day. If not, we'll get married another day. This is gonna make my skin quite red and I can only have it on for maximum of 10 minutes so I'm trying to keep an eye on the time this is a, f a face peel do you see that yeah so face peel I'm trying to make my skin better for the wedding I have really mum skin is that a thing uh, oh, and I've been taking these tablets that are supposed to help my hair grow because oh, I breastfed Alfred for just over a year and um, then when he decided to stop breastfeeding um, my hair decided to fall out and my hair's never been one for growing so I had like these nice receding hairline and I've never really this is good for me. I these are eyebrows are actually my actual eyebrows. And most people know that I tend to put them on with makeup. I don't have a lot of eyebrow. <clears throat> yeah, so today we're gonna to be homeschooling. I need to get some batteries for um my exercise bike. I've got an exercise bike over there in the bedroom and it I like it to tell me how many calories I've burnt, how many miles I've done, blah blah blah. Um because, yeah, getting married in 30 odd days and I need to lose at least 10 pounds. I lost 32 pounds at the beginning of the year, you know, remainder of baby weight-ish. Um, I'm vegan-ish. I'm plant-based, so I eat plants. I, I have a... a vegan diet but i think i'm supposed to say i'm plant-based because i don't really 100 percent have a vegan lifestyle i own a leather belt although i probably wouldn't buy one now no because i do care obviously i think everyone should care just obviously different degrees because some people clearly don't care enough to not eat dead animals but hey ho so i'm on a new diet starting today <laughs> i've got um some vegan protein shakes but they're not coming till later so i've already had my um coffee with uh, i think i had soy milk in it today i don't know lee made it i didn't um yeah but as so uh, as from tomorrow I've got this like powdered juice. I hope I haven't even checked that they're vegan. I do need to check. Tomorrow I'll I'll show them and I'll do do like a little review to tell you how they taste and stuff. And I'll weigh myself tomorrow and then we can see how much weight I've lost next Friday. I weigh myself every Friday because that's what I used to do when I was on my diet um i don't know if I, I could pop to the local shop to get some batteries or i could mosey on into town it's supposed to rain all day as from about 10 so like an hour it's gonna then rain all day and we have two massive holes in the garden because we had a for like week two of lockdown I bought a, a yurt, which I think is a bougie version of a tent, right? It has a pole in the middle. It was big, 19 foot round. We fit two double air beds in there um, and other stuff. Kids did schoolwork in there, but it was a right sweat box. So if it was warm, you got in there and just sweated, got wet. And everyone had to strip off. Not me. Kids didn't need to see that. But the kids would get in there and take the clothes off. It was quite uncomfortable. And then in the evening, you go, oh, weather's drawing in. And then it'd be cold. 
So yeah, it was never it was never the best temperature. Great idea. Okay idea, maybe not great. It was an okay idea, and um, which we tried. And um sorry, I it's feeling a bit tingly. Normal? Don't know, find out if my face falls off. I'll, I'll let you know. Um yeah, so after we took that down last week, it then meant that there was 19 foot rounds of dead grass and just dirt. But there's lots of roots in the garden. Um, so we decided we'd dig it all up so then I could put grass seed down and have like a planted area um, that's nice hydrangeas in, maybe some herbs, I don't know. Pretending to be green fingered, I'm not. And then, um, yeah, and so we thought two birds, one stone. The kids got archaeology kits from Father Christmas um, this year. So, or last year? Yeah, last year. The last Christmas, which was last year. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought we'd, we'd literally dig up the garden and see what we could find. Day one, which was on Monday, we found some really cool stuff. Um, we found what I think is probably a Victorian like bread tin thing to bake bread. Um, I, I put a picture of it on Facebook and that's what people told me it probably was. So that's cool. A Victorian fuse box, which has ceramic fuses. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it other than go, ooh, look, it's a fuse box. Um, yeah, found that. Found this ashtray, which was a Scottish whiskey, black and white um, ashtray. Obviously smashed, didn't even find it, all the bits. But I looked that up on the internet and had it have been holding good nick. It's worth like four grand. So I reckon anyone want like smashed three quarters ish half of an ashtray for two grand, let me know, send me a message. Or if you want a Victorian fuse box, send me a message. Um yeah, and then the a whole number two didn't find a lot odd oh bones, found bones. Probably dug up someone's dog. That's not very vegan, is it? Um, yeah, found some bones. Then a couple of like rusty old screws, some glass, tiny bits of pottery. I think a couple of bits from what was a pot. A couple of bits from what was a plate, maybe. A couple of different plates. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when the weather's better, we'll let the kids do some more digging. They're enjoying it. It's educational. It's all good. Um, yeah, so that's what we've been doing this week. Homeschooling, digging holes in the garden, finding stuff. Me having the realisation that our wedding is fast approaching and I need to lose the lockdown weight that I've put on and trying to get my skin better and then wanting to jump on the YouTube bandwagon. So video number one, comments below. I'm, just, I'm sure each day I'll talk about lots of different random things. I'm semi-interesting. I wrote a book last year. You can look that up. It's called My First Dyslexic Diary. It's available on Amazon. Written by me, Elizabeth Marshall. Uh, I seem to be the husband, Lee Marshall. He, he's got a few books published as well. Look him up. Yeah, get on board. So I will try and upload this. Not very technically minded, but I so said there'll be no editing. It would just be upload. I can manage that just about. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Share it, get your friends on board. Put comments. Let's see uh, 
what you want me to talk about. Okay. Thank you. Video number one. Oh, Lily. <laughs> Probably should have said. <laughs>